I, 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 irrelevant. Good day or afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Now today is going to be special. Not only do I have an amazing sunrise here, but uh, also nice views and also cloud that I'm hoping isn't coming in. So need to be fairly quick, but it kind of doesn't matter because there's something new on the site today. And I think everyone will be kind of interested in this and might want to join in. having a good think about what where this channel's going what's going to work what actually are people going to want to watch what's going to make it what's going to make it interesting for me and uh, so I came up with an idea or a solution and I'm going to tell you about it one moment oh, how amazing is this this is stunning. This was worth the four o'clock alarm. This was worth the hour and a half drive to get to here. Where am I? I hear you ask. Well, I'm in the Galtees, the highest inland mountain range in Ireland. And Galtee Moor, which is over there, is uh, over 900 meters high. So. It's a good mountain range. This is a pretty obvious shot that I have to get. This is a shot I cannot miss, so I'm just gonna do it. And then we'll get into what I'm doing here. Oh, 50 mil with the Sigma 24 to 105. F9, half a second, ISO 50, two second timer. Okay, so what's going on? I'm sure you're asking. Well, Today I brought you here to the Galtis to explain the beginning of a whole new concept and direction for this channel. What's the plan, Stan? Well, the years I've been doing this channel, been coming out making these videos, they've been very samey and across the whole of YouTube, whenever you look at landscape photographers, um, I, I don't want to be uh, dismissive or down about what other people are doing but we're all doing the same thing we're going out videoing us taking pictures which is fine it's grand some personalities are great for that I don't think mine is too much um, I try and make these videos to a degree interesting and uh, sometimes I think the pictures are quite mediocre I've decided to change things up so what I've decided to do is to create a challenge now what's the point of this well 
Namely, a lot of the times when we go out, the weather can't be great and we can be too distracted by trying to get this amazing picture. And unless we get this amazing picture, we can be quite hard on ourselves, down on ourselves about it. It can be quite frustrating at times. When we get a good picture, we're, it's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Yes, yes it is. So I created this challenge to push myself in new ways, to help me start using different techniques to think outside the regular box, as it were. Not only will this make it more interesting out here in the field with some of these challenges, but I think with the edit, there's gonna be new challenges there as well for half of these challenges. And let me take you through the challenges. What have I got with these challenges? Well, I've downloaded this annoying app that helps randomize um, a list of challenges I've created. So the idea is I come into this app. Ideally, I'm out on site as I am now, ready to go, that's my view. Now the rules here are, aren't hard and fast, they're meant to be a suggestion really, or you know, something to just get outside our normal way of doing landscape, landscape photography. For anyway, let me take you through examples. So I've got, it's on layers. By the way, this is a nice spinny wheel. I've got this spinny wheel app and I've got over 20, about 20 options there. So, for example, I just spun there, foreground subject, that could be one of them. So I've got to think about how I'm gonna incorporate a foreground subject into a picture. Give it another spin. Shoot wide open, so suddenly, depending what lens I'm using, I've got to shoot at f4 or even f1.4. So perhaps that's gonna get the creative juices going. Um, 10 stop ND filter, that's a bit obvious, have to use the 10 stop. Include a random colour in the picture. So I've got another wheel in here that's a colour picker. These advert things are so annoying. So I give that a spin and I would need to include some dark blue. Or you could, like I say, it's not hard and fast these rules, so you could just have it as a blue colour. So you'd be thinking of the sky, mainly. <laughs> so there, he's just making you think a bit different. What other challenges? To use the phone only. Uh, a minimalist shot, a panoramic shot. Shoot for a certain crop ratio, even though it says ration, that's a spell check. Auto-complete for you, it's a bit annoying. So maybe with uh, shoot one, one B1 in mind, or 5 by 7 or maybe a 69, something like that. A time limit, so I give myself, um, I think I decided, now I'm, I'm a, these, these rules and uh, how we play this game is going to evolve slightly over time as I find flaws in it, but time limit, so I say from the moment I spin the wheel, I can either sh take the shot in 15 minutes from that point or an hour, something like that. So, for example, it's quarter past six, so at half past six, I'd have to be like, bang, take that picture, or quarter past seven, bang, take that picture. And I can't take any other pictures. The only pictures I can take are ones to just check sharpness and composition, but then I have to delete them. So I've, I come away with one picture at a set time. So that's gonna challenge us. Similar to that is one shot only, so throughout the morning, I can only take one picture. That is it. Again, I'm allowing like up to three um, kind of check shots, as it were, to check for sharpness and composition, but then you have to delete them. So from that morning, you have to choose that optimum time to click that shutter. It could be too early, it could be too late. You could, it might be the right moment, but it's a challenge. Black and white. ICM, people are getting into that. Now, intercontinental missile, no, um, e e e ca e e irrelevant camera movement, no, intentional camera movement, that's that one. Uh, shoot one focal length, don't use a tripod, no tripod. Uh, include, oh yeah, straight out of camera JPEG only, no raw. So, that's, that's going to be an interesting one. 
can take as many shots as you want, they just have to be JPEG, straight out of camera, no editing. Use all the lenses, so you've got, I've got a wide, a medium and a long zoom, so I'd have to take a shot with all them lenses, do a time lapse, random shutter speed, so I've got another spinner that does gives me a random shutter speed between bulb mode and one eight thousandths of a second so that make it interesting because you might have to really be pumping up your your ISO closing down or opening up your aperture to control exposure you might have to use ND filters it just adds an extra element shoot a macro get out of jail free so basically if you want you can either have another spin or you can you know just do what you want to do that day Random ISO, that might be interesting, shooting at ISO 25,000 or something. That would be interesting for the edit. How well can you control noise and re regain sharpness from the edit? So basically, I now need to choose my challenge. So let's do it. Minimalist. Okay. Okay, minimalist. I feel I can do that. So minimalist. Now, what are my options? I could uh, shoot, get the long lens out, shoot right into the mountains there. There's just nice big silhouette uh, uh What do you call it? They're just silhouettes. They're nice silhouettes. The nice colour. Um, over this way there's not so much colour, it's very dull and grey, but then that itself can lend to minimalism. But let's start off with that one, let's get the long lens out and uh, shoot right into the mountains. I've zoomed right in, but about 300mm, but I could crop in tighter in post. But we've got some nice trees, tall trees, just popping out at the edge of this uh, edge of this forest here. And then behind them, we've got the silhouettes of the mountains. We've got a few little clouds just sitting on top of the mountains there. And then behind that, that beautiful pastel colour of the uh, morning sky. So I've kind of zoomed in over there. And now I'm going to take a shot feel that's pretty minimalist. And now I'm going to take another shot over there, right into the mountains. Just the silhouette. We've got like, we've got three overlapping mountains. And they kind of, with being silhouettes, they kind of blend into each other, but not quite. They're slightly shadowed from each other. Plus we just got that beautiful sky colour behind it, the pastel colour. One thirteenth for a second, F9. Oh, better make sure it's actually focused. Oh, that, that would be a big boo-boo, wouldn't it? Right, there we go. Although, out of focus might add to min the minimalism, so maybe, actually, I should purposely defocus it. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. See, we're getting creative already. So we're in focus there, which I took this shot. But if we defocus it, depending how we defocus it, we get really blurry mountains. Like we could go right the other way to the point where there's no nothing recognizable, it's just real blur. So I feel like we want to get somewhere in between to the point where it's kind of recognizable. But not quite. I'm going to say around there. Let's take that. So, can you see how we've made this interesting already? added a new style, technique, learnt something new there just through experimenting 
being pushed out of the boundaries. So what I'm doing is inviting everyone to join me in this week's challenge. This week's challenge is minimalism. Now, part of this, what I want to do is on a Monday night, so it should be Monday night, hopefully you're watching this on a Monday night, this video will go out. A photography on location video will go out where we select the challenge. You'll see me have, have a go at it. And then, uh, so you'll watch that video. And then on the Wednesday evening, I will then put out a video where it's just basically uh, a live edit. It's a live edit, basically. So you're, it'll be the first time I see the pictures on the computer and it'll be me going through them, selecting them, talking through and looking at, at the raw files or whatever we have there um, to select the one or if we only have the one image just kind of talking about that as a, a raw image and what we can do and what we want to bring out and experiment with editing and or just how I would edit it normally and uh, I think that's where half the interest is going to be is in the edit with some of these pictures especially perhaps <clears throat> if we're using a certain shutter speed and we've got to you know, adjust the other settings to compensate or a high ISO or like this minimalism shot. How am I going to edit that? There might be, you know, I'm going to want to edit it completely different to a normal landscape photo, I think. So it's going to be interesting with the edit. So Monday we'll release the challenge and that will run for the week until the Sunday, say. I'll put up a hashtag or create a hashtag for each week, I'd say, on Instagram. And then on the Wednesday or the following week, we'll have a look at what you guys have created and uh, talk about them. So that, I think that'd be interesting, that'd be cool. And then on the Wednesday, we'll do, I won't stream it live, but I'll record it live on my computer. Me opening up the files, editing them, having a chat kind of thing and that'll go out Wednesday and then I'm thinking maybe depending what's going on in the world I might do another video on a Friday or the weekend which is more of a a quick little thing perhaps looking at a bit of equipment but uh, we just have to see how it goes the Monday and the Wednesday I'm definitely going forward with for the foreseeable future and let's see if we can build up some mom mom momentum with that as well that would be cool I've got high hopes for this challenge for myself and hopefully for you too. This week's challenge, you've got till Sunday night, let's say. Let's let's see how this runs. You got so from when the video goes out Monday night, you've got till Sunday night to get a picture under the guise of minimalism. And this is the hashtag. So if you hashtag that on Instagram and we'll have a look in one of next week's videos. That's if anyone watches this in, in time and decides to do it. But, you know, we get used to this, you'll get into the flow of it, and we, every Monday you'll find the new challenge out, and then you've got till the following Sunday, so like six days, to then get the picture in. And every week I'll put a new hashtag. So yeah, I think this is gonna be interesting, and I'd love to see what you people come up with, you people. You guys, you gals, humankind, you, the professionals, the amateurs, the novices, even if you've got a phone camera, doesn't matter. I don't care if you've got the, the new Canon R3 that hasn't even come out, or you've got uh, a Nokia 3310 that somehow you can take pictures with. I don't get, give uh, monkeys. Even an old pol Polaroid, film cameras, doesn't matter. We can all, have a go, can't we? Yeah, that's my rant over. <laughs> so get cracking, minimalism, minimalism. What can I say other than uh, thanks for watching? I'm sure this is the first, the beginning 
of many more, not vlogs, challenges, many more challenges to come. So minimalism, get that hashtag going on Instagram. We'll have a look next week. See me Wednesday for the live edit. Well, it's not stream live, it'll just be me editing live. So it might be boring. It's not gonna be fast and action packed. It's gonna be me zooming in, it, in and out and adding uh, contrast and then taking it off again and experimenting. But, you know, I'm, I'm making no promises with it being a thrilling watch, but you might find it interesting. We might learn from each other. So, uh, yeah, see you Wednesday. Bye. Ciao for now.